We are in our ambient lighting era here at the shop. In the last video, we did the vehicle specific GLC 63S ambient lighting kit, which came up absolutely crazy. I'm gonna be doing the same ambient lighting kit in my C63S. And today we have an E63, and we're gonna be doing a universal ambient lighting kit. So this ambient lighting kit will work in any car, and we're gonna show you how you can get that done. So this customer has opted for footwell lighting, door strips and dash strips and it sounds very simple but it is a pretty big job let's go look at the kit so we have a bunch of wiring in here we'll show you how to get that done there is more than you need so there will be extras at the end but we sort of designed the kit to have a bunch in there so you don't run into issues or you have to get extra plugs or wiring it's better to just have more than you need here we've got all the footwell lighting lamps here or lights i should say extra lighting here that can go into things like cup holders and door handles, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we'll probably throw some of these in for the customer as well because we're gonna have the door cards off anyway. And then we've got the insane lighting strips. So there's a bunch of strips in here so that you can do doors, dash, whatever you want. Um, and you can also cut these to size. We'll show you all that in the video. And then lastly, everything has to get paired to a module or plugged into a module, front left, front right rear left, rear right, nice and easy, nice and simple. We'll get all that done and we'll show you how to do it. So the first thing is gonna be dismantling. I'm gonna start with the door cards. We have to take all four door cards off, so we'll show you how to get that done and then we're gonna start in the dash as well. Little side note, in the kit, we've had four of them made to the same size, so they're for your doors, and then we've had one extra long and one extra short, and I'll show you why. So the extra long one has been designed for a dash, okay, so it can go like that because this panel here is much longer than that panel there. So we've got a really long strip that you'll be able to get from here all the way over to the side. And then the extra short strip will go right here. And it's also a little bit longer, all right? So if you have a longer dash, obviously it'll fit. And if it's shorter, you can just cut it to size. So for demonstrational purposes, I've just put these strips on very poorly, but I want you to see that we've got a uniform line running through. So we've got the light, and then the wiring coming down that way. And then on this strip, same thing, strip is mounted, wiring is going that way. And if you imagine the car as a circle, you want every wire going the same way, every single strip around the car. And what that will do is when you start it up and you've got the strips running through, you're not gonna have one strip lighting up this way and then the other one lighting up that way and then shooting into each other. They're all gonna run around the car and it's gonna look really, really nice. I see a lot of people, a lot of professionals get this wrong and it just looks whack. It does not look right. So you have to make sure the lights all go in sync and then it will look amazing. All right, this tweeter cover is just on the clip and we can unplug the tweeter and pull this panel off. Be wary of this hidden clip right here and then the door card can get taken out, unplugged and we can set that to the side. All right, we have another demonstration here. So same door. Door card has now been completely pulled off. Every door is gonna have a module like this. However, a lot of cars are not gonna have a good ignition system in here. So basically turn the car on, a wire gets power. That's not gonna happen, especially in a European car, which means you have to run wiring through here into the door and then power it that way, which makes this job 10 times longer. So to combat that, what we've done is you got a module with two power wires. Now these power wires can go direct to battery power. So you can find two nice wires, like this one right here, the red and the brown, and they are battery. So even when the car's off, you can put a test light in there, they're gonna light up and show you that you have power. Now that is okay, because even though that these are on battery power, these lights will not light up. Our main module, that's gonna go inside the dash, also has the red and the black power wires, but we also have now an illumination. This illumination can go to any ignition source or any source that you decide. Uh, we'll show you what we do in this car. And then once this has power, all the lights light up. It makes the job much faster and much easier to do. Module is double-sided onto the door. We've got this side here exposed, ready to plug in our lights, which you can't see. Right in there, so we've got a bunch of plugs that are open for us to plug into. We're only gonna use one as we're doing one strip in this door. So we get the strip mounted into the door card, run it through, plug it into that. And then here are our powers. So we've got red going to red, black going to brown. We'll get them soldered up and tape this up. And then that's the power done. So we've worked out how the strip is gonna sit and how it's gonna look. Now we can commit. I've tapped a very small hole right here. 
that's going to let our wiring run through so the strip light will just go straight through there all the way to the other side so that once this door is all done and we've got the strip light mounted along here when we put the door card back on we can just route this like a normal plug straight into our module and just like that the strip is on it is almost naked to the eye it's very hard to see but that's exactly what you want we've now screwed this panel back down on the other side so that sort of put the panel in and up and it's actually locked this into place this is the perfect scenario for a strip like this you don't need to use glue or anything like that when you've got it locked in that tight uh, the way i knew it was going to lock in i tried to put this strip in while this panel was still screwed on and it was impossible to get in once we unscrewed it it moved a little bit allowed us to get our strip in and now we've screwed it back up and it is holding it nice and tight in there and it looks really clean we've got it all the way to the edge got it cut off and then on the inside here we have the wire coming out ready to go to our module so i'll quickly get this door on and then we'll test it so just for testing purposes we've got the module mounted here now we should be able to see that. Look at that. So just to reiterate on this again, the main module is down here. I've got the illumination and the main connected together just so this thing turns on and then ground tapped in as well, just at this back door. This module will go at the front of the car and we'll have illumination connected to the correct wire. But this is just so we can test that front door that we did. And if you go over there, you can already see the strip lighting. Have a look at that. That looks crazy. And then on the phone, you can go ahead and change. So let's make it green, for example. Boom, it's green. Now you might be saying to me, oh, that doesn't look very bright. Look at this, look how low the brightness is. So if we crank that up, look at that. That is crazy. It's probably not coming through on camera. There you go, have a look at that. So that's basically it for the doors. It's not that crazy. You just have to take the door card off, mount the strip, mount the module, power the module, put the door card back on. We're gonna do that for the rest of the doors and then we'll do the dash, which I'll show you how to do the dash, mount the main module, do your footwell lighting, all the other little bits and pieces, and she's ready to go. Now, the other little thing I'm gonna do on this door is one of these. So our kit will come with two little extra lighting modules, and these will plug straight into the main module that you've done there. And basically you can tap a hole for here, or you can go down to the drink holder area and put one in there. This car being an E63S has original lighting right up here. And that runs through this wiring here into there and it lights up this whole piece. So I'm gonna take the original lighting off and retrofit our one in so that when our lights are on, the door handles will light up the same color as the strips and you can even change the color. So you can have this blue and your strip green or whatever. But yeah, I can show you that. This will be pretty straightforward. This is gonna be just unclipping that, clipping this one in and then working out how to mount that in maybe with a touch of glue or something like that. And there we have the door handle light done as well, matching the top line. And there we go, strip light is blue. And you can see in the door handle, that light is now coming out blue as well. And then we can just change the color. So if we go purple, it'll go purple, we'll go red. It'll go, that it looks more like pink. There we go, we've got a beautiful red and a beautiful red. Very good, so this door is ready to go back on. This door card is back on, very, very easy. Put the door <laughs> back on plug in the two plugs, connect your handle, run your door lock mechanism through, slide this panel back on, and it's just on clips all the way around. And then the last step is to put this back on and then the two screws and that little cover panel. And here we have insane lighting. Look at that. Man, that is crazy. That's not coming through on camera, but that is extremely bright. And we've also got our little red handle in here amazing looks good so basically this is going to run along here and then boom across the dash all the way around the car it is going to look crazy let's keep going that is door number one completed a couple of hours deep we're going to do the same thing on the rest of the doors we'll get that done and then we'll move on to the dash First thing we want to do is pop down these little retainer clips and start pulling back on the main panel. And then we're going to go to the center vents and there are two more little hidden clips that you need to remove and you can pull the whole panel out. Now, if you lose a little vent like I have here, that is okay. You can continue to take the panel out and then use a pick to remove the vent from the body of the car. And then you can go ahead and put that vent back into the main panel and then that panel can get set to the side. 
All right, what I ended up doing here was taking out the radio. Once this panel pops out, the radio is held in with two Torx 20s that go down like that. So you will need something like a right angle, which is something like this. So you can pop it onto the screw and then undo the screw. Be very, very careful not to undo the screw all the way. This is on a slider. That's, this metal bracket right here is a slider. If you undo that all the way, the slider falls down and that's it. <laughs> terrible, terrible day. It's gonna take you all day to get them back. So you just undo it turn by turn and pull back on the radio and then eventually the radio will pull out. Then we've got two Torx 20s on this here and the whole panel pops off. And then here, this center panel pops straight up, two more Torx 20s and then you can get this out which is held in by four Torx 20s and then we can get this out which was the slider with the 12 volt on it. I've left all this stuff connected because we don't want any faults on the dash, like that's the gear selector. So I've just left it connected with some towels, but basically it's very simple. This little panel here just pops straight up and out, which is right there, when you can see the clip, right here. I'll leave it connected, tap it over there, unscrew this, four Torx 20s, and that will allow you to get this out. And the reason for that is right here, we have two thick, beautiful ignition wires. These are gonna be powering all of our lights. So I've tapped on two cables, which are gonna run here around the dash, somewhere to that area, where I can go ahead, get the module mounted and we can start powering it up. All right, center pieces are all back in. We've run the wiring up behind the dash through there and then down to this area right here. So cable's coming out right there and then we've got the yellow, which I tapped to the ignition source and ground, which we tapped to the ground wire. And then on this end of the module, ground is going to black ground and I've tapped red and orange together onto ignition, which basically means when you jump in the car and turn the car on, That'll turn this module on, which will trigger all the other modules in the car and all of the lights will work. And I've thought for the module, we can pull the carpet down. There's plenty of room back here to double side it down, probably around that area. All right, so a bit of an overview. Power going in, two lights outputs coming out, one for each side of the dash. And then also from this, there's more plugs here. We're gonna plug in the footwell cable. The footwell cable goes in with four wires coming off of it which we're gonna to run to each footwell in the car, one, two, three, four, and the footwells will light up nice and bright. All right, get a look at that. Perfect little spot for the module, sitting right there out of the way. The carpet's gonna cover all of that stuff and it's gonna look really, really nice. Power wires are all done. So what I've done on this side now is, this is the footwell harness. So that runs down, one plug, and it spits off four cables, all different lengths. So coming out right here, we've got a short cable, and then you go further back, and then another one and another one and another one. So how I'm gonna lay this out is the shortest cable will go here, second longest will go here, third longest will go to the driver's side and then the longest one is gonna go under there over to the driver's side and then under the driver's seat. So all, all footwell lights are controlled from here with different lengths. You're just gonna run them and pop them in. Uh, this will be nice and easy. There's original footwell lighting in here. So we'll take it out, run the new cabling, plug it in. On this side, we're gonna run the cabling up underneath the center console, down through there over to the seat. And then I'll just mimic that on the driver's side. I've already run the other two wires. So we've got one connector right here, ready to go for our strip lighting. And we've got another connector ready to get extended over to the other side for the other strip lighting. It's still the same day, so it's not crazy, crazy, but it's starting to get a little bit more in depth now with taking out parts of the center dash and taking out the carpeting area here. It's not really overly that hard. It's just pulling things apart, mounting, powering up, and then running cabling. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to show you guys in real time how to do one of these strips. For the wiring, I've already run it down behind the vent. This is gonna be covered with this panel right here. So basically, when we pop this panel on, it's gonna cover the insides where I've got the wire running down. It's not gonna cover this area here. So all you need to do is peel this panel out and run it underneath. That's not too bad, that's nice and easy. But for the strip itself, I'll show you how to do it. Now we're gonna use the same process on the vents and the doors and all that sort of stuff, but this is a nice small enough panel that I can show you what to do. So you can pull the vent out now, you can either try from the sides, underneath, the top, but generally speaking, if you can get somewhere where you can actually pull on it, it's pretty easy to pop out, just like that, it's already coming out. All right, the clips will come with it soon. There we go and you can see my strip's already there. So what I've done is sort of figured out how I want my wiring to go. See, I've pulled it down, there we go. So I've worked out how the wiring's gonna go, 
I've sat it on, and then you can basically pop your panel back into place, but leave it out a little more, because you want to be able to push it into place, not have to pull it out of the, the vent. So we'll pull that in, push that in, pop that out, pop that in. That looks pretty good. All right, the vent's in place. So you're not gonna be able to see, but right here is really good. In there, it's too deep. It's gone in a little bit too far. So we're gonna pull that back out. All right, the whole vent is now in, and we've got our strip lighting out. Now at this end, it's pretty much perfect. It's right on flush, and this end's sticking out. So what we can do is gently push it in, and you'll see it's gonna be kinda hard to do, because this vent is all the way in, and it's putting a lot of pressure at the top. So this is pretty much the perfect car, actually. Pull down on the vent, pop it in, and then you can just press it ever so slightly until you get it right where you want it. But right now, that strip is all the way in. It's very hard to see. It's out of the way and it looks really nice. Okay, now that's done. We can go ahead and turn the ignition on. Plug it in, of course. And there you have it. Extremely bright very very easy to see when the car is on and then when the car is off it's very hard to see you're not really getting good view on the camera there this is really bright but anyway the original lighting under here this came with the car we're leaving that on for the customer he wants to leave it on so let's say for example he has this blue here and turns that blue you get extra lighting that's the same color however in the factory settings of the car you can turn these off so if you don't want them on just leave these off and have your new strips but if you wanna match the colors with the three that come in this car, you can. All right, check it out guys. Here we have the rear door complete, rear footwells, and then the rear door on the other side. The strip, the camera's not doing justice on the strips, but you can see the seats and how much it's completely lit up in here. We've got the front door strip right there. We've got this strip running right along the dash all the way over to the other side. And this is how it looks sitting in the car. It is extremely bright, but this is on the brightest setting. Jump over to the driver's side. We've got this door complete and then this vent. And then as you can see here, every door handle is done as well. You can see that handle all complete. Very, very nice. And then the way you control this, there's two ways. So if you've got an Android based system, so we are also doing an Android screen to this car, you can actually control the lights directly from the new screen or you can also just open the app and then change the colors from here like this. So you can see we've just changed it to a beautiful purple and you've got this color here go to blue very nice very nice you can also go into this section and do all of the different options here so we can go rainbow it's going to do crazy rainbow colors throughout the car and as you see the door handles are still blue so you've got separate settings so you can have this one color and then this a separate color or you can have it all matching um, yeah, there's, there's a, a lot you can do. There you go. This is the streamer. Look at that. All the way through. All the way to the back. <laughs> it looks crazy. And then the original lights, they're still blue underneath here. And if they're in your way, if you don't like them, you just go to the screen and turn them off. There it is guys, that is our ambient lighting kit done in this E63. This was a car that had factory ambient lighting, but we were able to add complete aftermarket ambient lighting to this car, which means this kit is compatible with any car. You can use this install process to get ambient lighting in any 12 volt vehicle. It's not the easiest install in the world, but it is doable. We were able to get all this done in a day and it looks absolutely crazy. If you have any questions about it, drop them in the comments below. If you wanna reach out to us, www.shoptfb.com. If you want this exact kit, it's the first link in the description. You can go ahead and pick it up and it will be this exact kit and see how you go with the install. Thank you all so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.